Number four, Metal Gear Solid Five: The Phantom Pain. Chris. Yo. You loved Ground Zeroes. I loved Ground Zeroes quite a lot. And that was your first Metal Gear game. Yes, it's true. So how excited are you for five? I'm pretty damn excited. Now go. Let the legend come back to life. All right. Now I think the Phantom Pain has the potential to, ironically, uh, open up the door to a whole new generation of Metal Gear people. Uh, you know, even though it's like the end, maybe the last Kojima one. Uh, Does that whole Kojima thing uh, damper your enthusiasm for it at all? Well, no, because I'm since I'm new, like the Kojima thing doesn't really affect me. Mm -hmm. I can see how it would cause issues for diehards. Yes, like this guy. Oh, sure. People um, have been around since the OG. I meant the people, all other people. Oh, okay. Not you. Yeah. Well, I mean, this game looks massive, and I really hope it's also not delayed because Metal Gear games are right up there with. A, some of the most delayed franchises around, but it's because when the game finally comes out, there's a reason it was delayed. I feel like it's you know gonna. I, mean? I feel like it's gonna be a lot like um, Snake Eater. Think so? Yeah. Just damn good. Just damn good. I feel. I feel. I feel like you know. At the end of the day, we're gonna look back at Snake Eater and, and Phantom Pain as like the as like the Metal Gears. And Chris is definitely gonna play the game with the chicken hat on. Nope. Because that's how you don't die. I don't want to. I think you're going to. Nah. Yeah. Nah, that ain't me. That ain't me. Bro. All right. So, number three is much like The Division or Chris's prediction for Just Cause 3, a game that we're not even entirely sure is coming out this year, but there's enough to indicate that it might, that it made the list, and it just had a massive demo come out, so people got their first hands on it in about a decade, but we're talking Final Fantasy 15, formerly known as Versus 13. For now known as Dude uh, Dude Road Trip. Bro Trip. Bro Trip. It's the Bro Trip. Also known as, like, I think that might be one of the coolest uses of a summon. Have you seen that yet? Yeah. Oh my god. It's real good. It is so good. So the gameplay is incredible. I love the battle system of this. And I really like the concept of how even when you die, you kind of go into that Borderlands like bleed out mode. Mm -hmm. And you can still find a way to heal yourself or get out of danger. Then you can get back into the fight. I think... You can definitely feel the influences of other uh, franchises on this, but compared to the 13, I think it's a, a really positive jump. And for being a tech demo at its early stages, the graphics are incredible. Yeah. And they're not even at like they're not even optimized. They weren't even at 1080p yet. Like, I think I, I think the biggest thing that's it has going for it is that it's not 13 mm -hmm. or its sequels. Right. And Lightning is nowhere to be seen. Because, I mean, for a whole generation, you force people into this one series of, of games. With all its and nonsense. And now it's, you're finally, people are starved for something different. And here's the thing about Final Fantasy XV. Love it or hate it, it is the biggest name in RPGs. If this game succeeds and sells well and reviews well, I think we're going to see an RPG renaissance. I think, I if it bombs... I think the JRPG might uh, be dealt a blow that it just might not recover from for a long time outside the indie realm. Yeah. Like, the, for the big AAA RPGs, this is, like, the big one. This is going to be the litmus test to see where the... Because if this is a huge success, you're going to see the copycats. You're going to see other people jump back into the ring, and that's good for us. If it sucks, then it's going to suck in general. Fingers crossed for Infinite Discovery too. It's the best. Say that again to the camera with a straight face. Okay. Infinite Undiscovery. <laughs> Shut it off. Okay. I love Infinite Undiscovery. <laughs> You're such a jerk. <laughs> no, it's the best. I promise. Number two is The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, yeah. which has been my number one for so long, but we had to agree on it. So, Witcher Northern 3. The end of the Witcher. The Witcher. The Witcher. Have you followed any of the trailers? Nah. I've actually broken my own rule about RPG trailers just to watch how pretty it is in action. So, you spent all this time detailing this rule, and they're like, oh, yeah, by the way, I broke this rule. The, that, because the game's so good, you break your own rules for it, Chris. That's silly. Okay? Every trailer has been in real time. This, this company's so good, they never charge for DLC. It's just they, the everything they do is so good, and I love it. And their this entry blows away anything monsters. they've done with the first two, the and it just 
I've been waiting for this game for so long now, I feel like. And it was the first delay that I ever got that I was happy about because they delayed it until after I graduated from school. Because it was supposed to come out in February, which means I would have failed by now. Because I would have gone to no classes. I would have snuckered a little bit of that. Yeah, you feel like, oh, Matthew, you're so close to graduation. What happened? Well, The Witcher 3 came out, guys. I'm sorry. Ah. Witcher 3. Uh, oh, wait, I, I know I should get it on PC. Sorry, PC Master Race. Well, I'm getting it on PC. You can get it on another system, and then we can just, like, compare notes. Can you tell me how much better your system is? Always. Yeah. I mean, Chris, if if I don't continuously tell console gamers how much better my PC is than theirs, then what's the point of having a PC? I, I don't know. I have a console. Yeah, seriously. God. I bought my, isn't... I bought my PC off the rack at Best Buy. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, it hurts. Chris, you, you wound me. Here. It only has like a like a five hundred gigs. Ah, oh, God, I don't know how you people do it. Let's talk number you one. You people. Yeah, you people. Wow. Let's talk number one. Chris. Racist. I'm Batman. A, I'm consulist. I'm Batman. Arkham Batman. Knight. Arkham Knight. Hey, Batman. Every damn time. Even though it scared me when I saw the news when I woke up, I was like, Batman Arkham Knight delayed again, and I was like, what? And it was like, oh, it's just delayed two weeks, yeah. which seems like a weird delay. What? Like, what happened to make you say, all right, we'll push back two more weeks and we're good? Carl in animation hurt his leg. Okay. That was like, they lost two weeks of work. But he's, okay. he's fine. Oh, okay. So he's ready, well, he's ready to Let's talk Arkham Knight, Chris. Did you watch the uh, seven-minute gameplay trailer? I don't watch gameplay trailers. Oh, dude. No. They, did, they did a whole mission where they you, you get the, the part where you get your car for the first time. Mm -hmm. And, man, seeing it in action for the first time, like an actual, like, quick mission... Everything about it, and you can see the the M rating coming to play, because the beatdowns are so much more brutal this time around. Chris, it's rough. I like when Batman shot that guy. Yeah, yeah. With the rubber that gun. That didn't happen. With uh, the rubber gun. No, I I don't want I don't want to watch a gameplay because I know what to expect. It's Arkham. Mm -hmm. uh, the Arkham formula is, for all intents and purposes, perfect. Yeah, I fought Batman once. Broke my arm in three plays. Is it's the it's a combination of like great um, the uh, it cribbed and then improved upon the Assassin's Creed battle engine yeah which was then also seen in Shadow of Mordor, um but the Arkham Knight way it, the only thing I can think that they could improve on is if they made it so that detective mode wasn't always needed to be on because then you have this beautiful game but you spend eighty percent of it through the detective mode filter well uh, there's just unless you put a battery on which is gonna suck. Yeah, that we would just hate it for that. Yeah. But no, everything about this game looks fantastic. The Arkham Knight is a character created specifically for the game, and I'm predicting like a Harley Quinn level acceptance rate, and we're gonna start see we'll see him pop up in the comics. Because I mean, Harley Quinn was the one that was created just for the show, and then was beloved enough that now she's everywhere. Arkham Knight was is created with DC Comics in conjunction with Rocksteady. And I guarantee you we're going to see him pop up in DC proper. Maybe in Batman Eternal 2. I think we'll see him pop up. I don't think he's going to be nearly as popular as you think he is. All right, I'll take that bet. I'm not betting you. I'm just telling you. Bet me on camera, Chris. $5. He's popular. Wait, how do you judge popular? We'll find like, out. Like people at conventions are dressed like Arkham yes. Red? Okay. I'll, I'll tell you this. All right. Within the next year, he will be he will be featured in a Bat book. No. No? No, he will. I'm not yeah. taking that bet. And then people will like him in that book. This bet is ridiculous. There's no quantifiable way to prove it. Chris. Yes, there is. Take the bet. No. You heard it here first? The bet is on. All right. Well, Chris. You're a liar. So we forgot to do the honorable mentions before number one. You're terrible at this. It was your idea. Shut up. What's your honorable mention? Godzilla. Yeah. For the next gen. Because it's Godzilla. I don't, I don't know what you want me to say. It's, it's Godzilla. That's really all you can say. Yeah. You don't know anything. I don't know about anything it. about there it. There we go. But you know what? It's Godzilla. I don't care. And my honorable mention is Disgaea Five because I love the Disgaea series, and this uh, one looks to be it's the first like actual next gen upgrade to it. Because the first four all used the same sprites and this, they reused a lot of the same assets, even though they were on both PS2 and 3. This is the first one that's like stepping up their game graphically, mm -hmm. and. Here's hoping. I'm just excited for it. Now, let's do a recap real quick and call it a day. Number 15, Chris. Rock Band 4. Dragon Quest Heroes at 14. Star Wars Battlefront 3 at 13. The Division at 12. Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm 4 at 11. Number 10 is Splatoon. 
Just Cause 3 at 9, Persona 5 at 8, Halo 5 at 7, Tomb Raider Rise of the Tomb Raider at 6, Xenoblade Chronicles X at 5, Metal Gear Solid 5 at 4, Final Fantasy 15 at 3, The Witcher 3 at 2, and Batman well, just Night at 1. Everything you up really with this did. List. All right, you know what? This has gone on long enough. I'm Matt. I'm Chris. We're the Nolan Nerds. Top 15 games of 2015. Go play them all. Buy them. Be a consumer whore like me. Bye. This list is going to be totally out of date in a couple of months when E3 hits. Yeah. Hey. This is the pre-E3. We'll do a post-E3 later. Oh, I don't want to do that. Put your phone away. Ah, I'm busy. You don't need wrestling updates. I need wrestling updates. All right, well. Oh, I got a message here. It says you're a jerk and I hate you. Shut up.